Jewish means they means they're pertaining to the Jews. They wish they could be the Jew, but they're not the true people. So who are they according? Give me that Revelation 2 and 9. And I'm going to go right back to what you, I'm going to finish, you, uh, finish you, uh, what you're saying about Christ. So we're not from Africa, we're from Jews. No, yeah, we are from Africa, but what part? Because what our people don't realize is Israel is a part of Africa. That's right. That's right. Read. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. Read this is up. the Jewish people that you're referring to. Read. I know thy works Read. and tribulation and poverty. Who's in poverty today? If our people in poverty? So this is what this is what Christ you know. Did he talk to the twelve tribes children of Israel? Because you said that they took our identity, right, and named us something else. So they took us in hardcore. They took us in hardcore bondage. Who who who's who's in the projects, brother? Yeah, we are the black folks. Who who's on the reservations, uh, brother? Who's on the living on the reservations? We are. Okay, that's that's the people that the Israelites. The land was taken from them and put them on reservation Prado projects, ghettos, slums. Whatever you want to call it. We're scattered worldwide. Why? Because we broke God's laws and God put us in captivity under our enemies, the other nations. Read on. Bring it out. I know thy works in tribulation. God says he know the Israelites' works in tribulation. Read. And poverty. Because we're in poverty. Read. But thou art rich. Because all the promises of this Bible belongs to us. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. He said, I know the lies of them that say they was Jews and are not. Don't believe in Jewish fables, sis. That's what the Bible says. Read on. But are the synagogue of Satan. He said, them people over there in your land, they are the chief house of Satan. That's and right. Satan, what Satan means, it opposed to God's laws. So wait a minute, hold on. Why do our people that go to these cemetery schools that learn under the chief house of Satan say don't keep God's laws? Because why? Your, your power comes from keeping God's laws. That's right. As long as you believe that you're someone that you're not and don't keep God's laws and you continue to follow these pagan holidays, the white man already know he, I got you. But right. even isn't one of the commandments says to love thy neighbor as I have loved you? Yeah, let's get that real quick. You talking about in the New Testament, right? I'm talking about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments? Let's get that real let's get that real quick. Give me that real quick. No, as a matter of fact, go to Mark. Go to Mark. Mark chapter 12. I'm going to show you what, who that relating to. Mark chapter 12, verse 28. Start there. Read. Mark chapter 12, verse 28. 28. Read it out. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, Read. asked him, which is the first commandment of all? Which is the first command of all? He's asking Christ. Let's see what Christ says. Read. And Jesus answered him, Read. the first of all commandments is, hear, O Israel. What? Hear, O Israel. Read that again. Is this the New Testament? Yes, sir. Tell her where you at. Mark chapter 12, verse 28. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, hear, O Israel. You're talking to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. That's the black Messiah. Read on. That's right. The Lord, your God, our God, is one Lord. Who what he's quoting? He's quoting the law. He's quoting, he's quoting Deuteronomy 6 and 5. Read on. And that's not a part of the Ten Commandments. Read on. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Read. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. So who is he talking to? Is he talking to everybody? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Christ said, hear, O Israel. Is that everybody? Is everybody Israel? No, it's not. It's talking about the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Indians. That's right. You understand, sis? Yeah. Well, who, let's, see, let's see what Christ is. Hold on for a second. Give me John chapter 12. Bring it out. Is he the is he the is he the the, the God or, or the the the, the uh, son of everybody? Can everybody come and worship him? No, we learned all that is slavery. Read John chapter twelve, verse verse three. Twelve, no, twelve, twelve, twelve. Twelve and twelve. On the next day, much people that would come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So this is Jesus. Read. 
took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel. What, what did they call Christ? Blessed is the king of Israel. I'm going to give it to you. That's John chapter 12, verse 12 and 13. Give me Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Yeah. Now you got to understand what yeah. Now you got to understand what God this is, uh, okay? Because it's not the God of Luke everybody. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You say the God of everybody. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Yeah. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Did you say all people? And redeemed his people. Give me who, who his people is. Give me Matthew 2 and 6. Israel or the days is the so-called black suspended native Indians. The Israelites was given the laws by the hand of Moses. Moses told them, if you don't keep my laws, these curses are going to come upon you. Why do you think we went on slave ship? Because it's in the Bible. Why do you think we was in cotton fields? Because it's in the Bible. Why do you think we live in the project? Because it is in the Bible. It's a part of the curses. Why do you think we lost our identity? Just like you said, well, they, they gave these, us these names. It's according to Deuteronomy 32 and 26. He said it's going to happen if we keep his laws. So what we're doing is showing you who you are, what happened to you according to history, and what you got to do to get out of these conditions. That's right. Because you didn't come over here as an African American. Right. Matter of fact, we was trained, we, we, we was a, uh, they call us niggas, Negro, uh, Afro American, black, colored. And our nationality changed uh, every 20 to 30 years. Why is that? Because they know who you are. And like I said before, as long as you can uh, continue to believe that you're something that you're not, continue to keep these, continue to keep Sunday church, believing in false burdens, and tithe is not money, it's dealing with crops and animals, because since our people don't know the law, they, 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 get, they get duped with everything. Yo, 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 enemies say, the white man say, I got them. Because I set all these up. Keep the church open. Pay the tie, no, the bill, getting the bills paid, keep the church open. Yeah. And there's nothing, let me just say it like this. There's nothing wrong with paying money to the church because bills got to get paid. But when you say that 10% of your money is tied, that's not, that's a lie according to the Bible. Because tithes dealing with crops and animals. And the tie. That's all they had back then. No, 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 no. Oh, you, hold on for a minute. Hold on. Give me Hebrews. Hold on. Hebrews. Hebrews 13 and 8. So you talk about Christ, right? You say about something about Christ. Let me show you, show you what they say about Christ right here. Read. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Read it out. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday. You the same back then, read. And today. And today, read. And forever. And forever. Did anything change in this Bible? The scriptures cannot be broken. Meaning, if you're teaching a false doctrine about tithes, you a liar. That's it right. has nothing to do with money. That's right. And it was dealing with the Levitical priests. The tithe money was given to the orphans, the widows, and the fatherless. That's what it was always for according to the law. But wait a minute. They teach that the law is done away with, but they want to keep the law of tithes, and it's not even, it it's not even money. So where is the hypocrisy in that? Because you can't pay bills with crops. No, so meaning what? What is it called? I'm going to show you, what, according to the Bible, I'm going to show you what that's called. Give me Matthew 6 and 1. I'm going to show you what the Bible calls it. Because the Bible got an answer for everything that you're coming out with. I'm going to show you what, what it is. Read. 6 and 1. Matthew chapter 6 verse 1. Read. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men. That's what it's called. It's called alms. That's what it's called. Alms. It's not called tithes. Your pastor and everybody else is a lie. They teach that false doctrine. That's right. Number lies. And guess what you got to come out of, sis? 
Is it okay to say God bless? God bless. God speed. Hold on. Let me give you one thing real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 20, 25. Bring it out. Christ said, you know what you know what Christ said. Hold on. Give me John 8, 32. Hold that real quick. Christ said, ye shall know the truth, right? And the truth shall make you free. That's why I stopped. Okay, then watch this. We're, we're going to read what he says. Give me, give me two minutes of your time and you can go. Read. John chapter 8, verse 32. Read it. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What is the truth that he, he said that's going to make us free? Because the Bible got to read precept upon precept. So let's see what the truth is according to the Bible that's going to make us free. Psalms 119 verse 142. Read. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. When you keep your righteousness, meaning the commandments, you get everlasting righteousness. Meaning you live forever. That's what that means. Read. And thy law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. That's right. So let's see what the truth according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. That's what the truth is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Read it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Let me ask you a question. Do we got woman, women garments out here? Are we wearing are we wearing women garments right now? No. What is a woman garment? Dress. A dress? Read the top part again. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So let me give you a little history. Until the, the 1940s. When the when the when our people start the black woman start uh, following when uh, Miss Bloomer, okay, when they uh, when she brought into the women's uh, liberation movement or the lesbian movement back in the 40s and 50s. Right. What did our what did our black women start to wear that they never wore? Look at look 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 at our, uh, our foremothers in the cotton field. What did they got on? T top. And it's still it's hotter than this out here. Bring it what did they got on, sis? Chester. They got on a dress, right? You start wearing pants in the 40s and 50s, following the, the so-called white man. Bring it up. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You in the midst of cross-dressing right now. That's right. You in the midst of cross-dressing. Christ said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You know the truth now. You know the truth of God's laws. What do you got to do? You got to come out of that. Why? Because pants give our people, uh, women, a manly spirit. And you see our, our brothers that wear a dress. What do they get? When our brothers start wearing dresses, how do they start to act, brother? More like women. They act more like a woman. Yeah. So it gives you a manly spirit, sis, when you got when you got pants on. Okay? They act like women when they put the dress on. Oh, so no, no, we talking about you. We talking about you right now. Bring it That's out. Right. So what are you gonna do, sis? You gonna keep the pants on and die? Or you gonna uh, or you gonna repent and come back and start wearing a dress? Give me John chapter 8, verse 24. Yeah. I'm going to show you what Christ said. Because everybody said they love but Jesus. Yeah. Let's, see what, let's see what the black Messiah says. Because you know what sin is, right? Yeah. It's the breaking of God's laws. We just read Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's see what Christ said if you want to stay there. Stay that way. Read. John chapter 8, verse 24. Read. I said, therefore, unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. Christ said, you will die in your sin. Read again. I said, therefore, unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. Read. For if ye believe not that I am here. Because many people believe that Christ is a white man. When the Bible says he's black. Oh, That's know. right. We don't know. Oh, we don't know? We don't know how to do oh, you sure about that? You remember I said, I read to you first Peter I mean, 4. The, the Bible says he had hair like wool. And We're going to read that again. Yeah. Read. No, no, no. Hold on. Go back to it. Just finish that out. Finish that out. John chapter 8, verse 24. I don't want to get off subject. Because you say you want to know the truth. And Christ said you don't keep that truth. You're going to die. Read. John chapter 8 verse 24. Read. I said there are, therefore unto you Read. that ye shall die in your sins. Read. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. You're going to die in your sin. Because what did Paul, Paul, Paul preached exactly what, uh, what Christ said. It's called Romans 6.23. He says the wages of sin is death. That's right. He's repeating exactly what Christ said. This is your wages. Everybody go to work, right, and get a wage, right? If you working abomination and working sin, that's going to be your wage, and that's going to be death if you don't change. That's this right. is the message for our people because why? The pastors are given false burdens. They have not discovered our people iniquity to turn away their captivity. That's what the, that's what the, that's what God says about these these pastors that teach on the wrong day of the week, sure. which is the Sabbath day. Sure. They teach on the first day of the week, which is a basic commandment that they don't yeah. know about. Saturday. Yeah, which is the Sabbath day. It's still on the Greco-Roman calendar. 
the same calendar that was back then when Christ walked the earth right. because the, the Romans is the so-called white man is the same calendar today so that is the seventh the seventh day of the week that you're supposed to be worshiping. I think I think church today more so is more about fellowship you know what I mean with who like-minded people. Like-minded people like who? Who the Bible was given to? You say like-minded people, was this Bible given to everybody? Um, yeah. You sure about that? You remember, you wasn't allowed to read or write, sis. Listen, the Bible was out way before slavery. Give me that. Well, hey, the Bible the Bible answers Your everything. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. Way read. Before slavery. No, no, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. I'm and I'm going to show you in the New Testament. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. The word, this is the Bible. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The statutes, the law, and the statute or the judgment for breaking God's laws to Israel. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. He had not what? He had not dealt so with any nation. According to you, you said it ain't no nations. God, what did God say? He had not dealt so with any nation. God said, I ain't dealing with any other nation. He's only, he gave his Bible to you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.